So tell me, what is Geotab? Uh, Geotab is a, a telematics company fundamentally, so we aim to be the platform that underpins the connected car. So that means today we're providing telematics devices and tools to fleet managers so that they can get the data they need from their vehicles to manage that fleet. Uh, and our longer term goal is to make sure that we can get that data from the vehicle itself. So we're working closely with OEMs to do that. Now they well. do say data is king, but you can have too much data and not sure. know what to do with it. So how does your system sort of score where other systems maybe just don't? Really good question. So you're right, da data is king, but only if you can create insight from that data. So we're, we're really focused on making sure that we provide the tools for maybe a what, what you might call a non-professional fleet manager. So someone that's you know, managing their fleets, a small part of their job can draw insights from what we do with larger fleets. So you know, serving up insight about their data and how they compare to other fleets in the world all the way through to fleet managers are really interested in the data so they can get into the details. So, you know, that's providing the tools that they need to write rules and then create insight based on the data. So a good example would be, you know, are my drivers not letting the DPF filter regenerate as an example? Bit technical, but the outcome is a very high cost for the business. The vehicle ends up off the road just because the driver hasn't turned the switch back on and through the data we can serve that information up to the fleet manager so they can intervene. Now, I mean, in a way, this isn't anything new. It's fleet management, isn't it, really? And some might say it's just tinkering at the edges <laughs> as far as emissions are concerned. I mean, how can how can you how does your system score in terms of cutting emissions and, and helping us towards that uh, net zero target? Yeah, really good question. So we're laser focused on making sure that we have all of the data that you need from the vehicle to create that insight. So where we differ from you know, other areas of the market is we're really making sure and spending a lot of time and engineering effort on getting that data from the vehicle. So a really good example of that is fuel. So if we're looking at an ICE vehicle and emissions, we're reading the fuel that the vehicle's burning so we can calculate very accurately the emissions, the carbon emissions of that vehicle so that we can give you a measurement that you can then manage. So you know, if you know that before you start your decarbonisation programme, you're emitting X amount of carbon, you can then manage yourself down as opposed to just saying, we need to reduce carbon, how do we do that? And then we're providing tools to help move away from those ICE vehicles. So we're looking at which vehicles in your fleet, based on the data, could transition to specifically specific other electric vehicles. Mm. And what about charging cycles, presumably, you need data to to make sure that you know that your vehicle is charged when it needs to do a certain run yeah exactly so again we're really focused on making sure we get the data you need from an electric vehicle for that so that's the energy going in and out of the battery the state of charge of that battery so that we can help fleet managers know with confidence that tomorrow morning at 6 a.m when aaron needs to go out to do a job there's going to be enough range in that vehicle and we're, we're doing that by creating tools like our charge assurance dashboard which essentially say, Aaron's vehicle isn't plugged in, it should be, go and tell Aaron to plug it in, as a, as a very layman's example, and then we can get layer on complexity there as the fleet gets more into the details. So, you know, if you're scaling up from 10 electric vehicles to 10,000 electric vehicles, we're building the tools to help support that, that full scale. And some might say, shouldn't the manufacturers be providing this data, you know, as, as a matter of course, when people buy a new vehicle, clearly they're not. If, if companies like yours are, are providing that uh, analysis and data? Yeah, it's a really good point. So we've seen, you know, traditional OEMs are traditional. So, you know, they're old companies that are maybe transitioning now and we're seeing that transition accelerate into data companies. And so they're, they're going on a learning journey and a lot of those OEMs are working now with Geotab to help go on that journey. And we're seeing, you know, I think across the world, but in our industry specifically, businesses are realizing that it's better to collaborate uh, and work on your specific niche skill set. So, you know, if I'm a vehicle OEM, I'm good at making vehicles. I'm not necessarily good at gathering data and providing data-based tools to customers. And that's where we're seeing OEMs and Geotab working together well. Our objective is to get data from the devices built into the vehicles by the OEM. In, in all cases, we only produce our own devices at the minute because, as you say, they're not really at a point where the data that they're providing is relevant to their customers. And do you think um, manufacturers are, are happy to provide that data? Because clearly, you know, they've got uh, a collection system 
to help them both improve the manufacture and to do other things that clearly they often don't tell us about, certainly <laughs> when it comes to cars. Yeah. Do you think they're trying to hold on to that, that data as much as they can? Yeah, I, I think it's an evolving maturity, let's say. So five years ago, certainly, it, it was clear that you know maybe there was a miss a misconception about the value of that data. Mm -hmm. So it was seen as something that could be monetized for a great deal of profit to make a return on a heavy investment that the OEMs make. The reality is that you know the data is very valuable, but it's not valuable on its own. So you know there's very few fleet managers in the world that have one OEM's vehicle in their fleet. As a result, it doesn't make sense for them to only get data from one OEM. Yeah. And so suddenly if you're six OEMs in your fleet who are all providing data in a different way, you now need a company like Geotab to, to bring that all together for you. And we're seeing, like I say, those OEMs now coming around to the idea that actually we need to collaborate and we need somewhere where the data is standardized. And what's really nice is that the newer OEMs that are emerging start from that point. So they're, you know, they're really digital businesses that create vehicles and they're yeah. very happy to collaborate with businesses mm. like Geotab. And just finally, you're exhibiting at the show today what do you think of ITT Hub? Uh, we think it's a really great event. So we had a lot of traction yesterday. It was a bit rainy outside, so uh, lots of people indoors. And yeah, we're seeing, again, good traction today. It's nice this year to see more people at the event because, you know, we're coming out of COVID um, compared to last year. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be attending in the years to come. Aaron, many thanks. Thank you.